town of Star Island, several law enforcement agencies are raiding the home of hip-hop mogul P. Diddy. And tonight, we are learning it may be tied to alarming allegations. I can't send none of y'all Meek Mills, y'all puppies, y'all little boozy, none of these names, none of these people that have to listen to y'all because they're dealing, they have legal, I never kill anybody, right? I'm the thief that never kill anybody, right? But that means I can say whatever I want and not go to jail. And even if they did figure out a way, I'm still not backing down from what I said. You're out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. And God loved me. Hey everyone, you should definitely sit down because I've got some crazy news from the hip hop scene that's been making waves and getting everybody talking. It's like you can't turn anywhere without hearing about Diddy these days. And it's not for a good reason, let me tell you. So there's been some really bad stuff keeping Diddy in the news and it doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. Just when you thought it couldn't get more intense, Rodney Jones goes and sues Diddy with a huge lawsuit. And just when you're trying to wrap your head around that, bam, Homeland Security hits his house with a raid. Yes, you heard me correctly. The feds were knocking on Diddy's door and they were not there to hang out. From what's been said, they found a bunch of sketchy things in his fancy houses. They took a lot of stuff like tapes, laptops, cameras, you name it. And there's even gossip about a secret tunnel under his house leading to who knows where. Isn't that wild? And guess what? Kanye West has been pointing fingers at Diddy for a long time. Kanye, who always speaks his mind, says he's seen trouble coming for Diddy for over 10 years and tried to tell everyone. So here's the scoop. Diddy, whose real name is Sean, Diddy Combs, got a surprise visit from US Homeland Security on Monday, March 25th. That's the heavyweight of hip hop getting a not so friendly knock on his door. And you know what? It turns out this whole thing is part of a massive federal investigation into trafficking. Yeah, that's right, trafficking. Let's go back a bit. Diddy, who helped kickstart the careers of icons like Biggie Smalls, Mary J. Blige, and Usher, has been all over the news lately, but for all the wrong reasons. It's been a wild ride full of accusations and scandals, with S.A. at the forefront. The past six months have been really shaky for him, with one accusation after another thrown his way. But this recent event with Homeland Security raiding his places feels like it's straight out of a movie. The story just got a whole lot more complicated. So why did they raid his homes? It seems that the feds weren't just dropping by for a casual visit. They actually raided not just one, but two of Diddy's fancy properties. His fancy house in the posh Holmby Hills area of Los Angeles, which is neighbors with places like Bel Air and Beverly Hills, and his extravagant home on the exclusive Star Island in Miami Beach. And the reason for this? It's all linked to a federal investigation into trafficking. Reports from Fox 11 say that these raids were part of a bigger operation related to this serious matter. The Department of Homeland Security also stated that these actions were part of an ongoing investigation. With help from various Homeland Security investigations branches and local law enforcement. Right now, they're not spilling much about the specifics. But you can be sure there's something big going on. Even folks online are sensing it. Someone on Reddit commented, I'm not from the US, but when you see the theater and Homeland Security teaming up for searches, it seems like they've got a rock solid case. Looks like someone truly bad is about to face the music for good. Another person chimed in, Definitely, if the feds are on your case, it's pretty much game over. The federal government doesn't just raid someone's house, especially a celebrity's, for kicks. They must be convinced he's guilty of something. Now they're probably just gathering the evidence to nail him. The kind of stuff that triggers DHS raids is often linked to terrorism or trafficking. Take for instance, Josh Duggar, the reality TV star caught with horrific child-related material on his work computer, who ended up in prison. I even snagged some inside scoop on the Diddy situation. It seems that federal agents in Manhattan have been busy interviewing people connected to the Diddy drama. And what are they digging into? Brace yourself, because it's intense. We're talking about allegations that range from trafficking and SA to illegal narcotics and firearms trade. Yes, that's what's being said. It sounds like a plot from a crime show, but there's even more. 
Sources leaked to NBC News that federal agents found firearms during their search of Diddy's posh homes in LA and Miami. Currently, it's not clear who owns the weapons found or what types they are, but there's more to the story. Diddy is being accused of some seriously shady actions. It's alleged that he installed hidden cameras throughout his homes and used the footage to blackmail guests who attended his parties. Court documents filed by a former employee claimed that Diddy had these secret cameras in his Los Angeles and Star Island homes. These cameras reportedly captured very troubling scenes, including famous individuals engaging in activities they shouldn't at these gatherings. We're talking about well-known faces from the entertainment world, sports, and even politics. The former employee who submitted these claims suggests that these lavish parties were funded by influential figures in the music industry, featuring drugs and possibly underage attendees. What's more shocking is that Diddy supposedly has tapes showing various celebrities and influential people consuming drugs and mingling with underage individuals. These parties were not just social events, but served as networking opportunities for aspiring artists to connect with the industry's power players. Recent footage released by TMZ reveals the extent of the search at Diddy's LA mansion, portraying a scene that could be straight out of a movie. The imagery shows doors pried open, safes forced, pill bottles tipped over, and luxury clothes strewn about. All results of the federal raid. And there's more. Exclusive photos from DailyMail.com depict a similar disarray at his Florida residence, with law enforcement meticulously searching each corner for evidence related to the trafficking investigation. Following closely on these events, three women have filed lawsuits against Combs, accusing him of abuse, and a man has accused him of misconduct. Amidst this turmoil, Combs broke his silence on Tuesday, defiantly stating he's the target of a witch hunt, a claim that certainly raises eyebrows. He also criticized the Department of Homeland Security for what he termed a severe misuse of military-level force. However, public opinion seems skeptical of Combs' narrative. One individual argued that the sudden and well-coordinated raid, along with the media's quick attention, suggests a rush to judge Mr. Combs, calling it a witch hunt driven by baseless claims from civil lawsuits. They expressed belief that the federal government must have substantial evidence to conduct such a raid, dismissing the idea that it would be based merely on accusations. The video footage of the scene is nothing short of chaotic. The first thing you see is a huge gate, broken and dangling, indicating the scale of the operation. The entrance shows signs of force, with holes and cracks visible. Inside, the chaos continues. Rooms are in complete disarray, bedrooms torn apart, and drawers emptied haphazardly. The floors are covered with clothing and receipts, amidst which are scattered stuffed animals and pill bottles, creating a bizarre scene. The footage also shows a thorough examination of Combs' electronic devices, and in the kitchen, appliances are out of place, contributing to the unsettling feeling of the search. The question remains, what was found inside those safes? Indeed, the safes were not overlooked. Footage showed federal agents forcefully opening them, leaving a scene that looked like a partial ransack. Amidst this disorder, elements of Combs' life emerged poignantly. A celebratory poster of Combs stood out, a vivid reminder of the individual at the heart of these events. And not to be overlooked were the luxury designer sneakers. These expensive items were found in a vast walk-in wardrobe, standing in sharp contrast to the surrounding disarray. The thoroughness of the search extended to even the most ordinary objects. Sofas, beds, and chairs were upturned as part of the comprehensive sweep of the premises. Indeed, even the singer's personal care items were not spared, with several bathrooms caught on video displaying the search's breadth. In the midst of the turmoil, there were some serene moments. Combs' collection of Grammy Awards, symbolizing his musical success, remained untouched on a display table, silently bearing witness to the turmoil. Local news station KABC showed the scene outside the Holmby Hills mansion, with police tape marking the area as agents meticulously scoured the property. The backyard, normally peaceful with its swimming pool, turned into a beehive of activity, with agents moving back and forth, searching diligently for evidence. As time passed, agents continued their thorough examination, moving in and out of the house consistently. It was a display of unwavering resolve in the search for justice. A lawyer representing a woman who accused Diddy of rape in the 1990s spoke publicly, 
hopeful that the raid signaled the start of a process to bring the rapper to account for his alleged past actions. Fox 11 raised the stakes by airing aerial footage of the raid, which shockingly showed Diddy's own sons handcuffed outside their home. That's right, his own family got swept up in this ordeal. And it turns out Diddy has another house, this one in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, here's where it gets intriguing. This Atlanta property has been neglected for years. Recent photos show a place that looks like it's from a horror film, with dust-covered counters, chandeliers intruded in cobwebs. It's all there. Interestingly, this property wasn't raided like the others. This adds a layer of mystery to the whole situation. Amid all the turmoil, one question remains unanswered. Where is Diddy? Speculation about his whereabouts has been wild since the raids. Adding to the intrigue, there's talk that information about Diddy's private jet disappeared from a popular flight tracking website right after the raids on March 26. The jet in question is a sleek, black Gulfstream Aerospace GSP, big enough for 20 people, owned by Love Air LLC. TMZ reports that this jet was seen parked on a runway in Antigua, basking in the Caribbean sun. However, Diddy reportedly wasn't on the plane. The plot thickens as TMZ has been on the case, tracking Diddy's jet movements with some clever flight data analysis, diving deep into this unfolding mystery. Here's the detailed rundown. This high-end jet embarked on a journey through California on March 24th and 25th, starting with a departure from Sacramento Executive Airport at around 5.30 p.m. on Sunday. The jet then landed at Palm Springs International Airport approximately an hour later. But the journey didn't stop there. Soon after, it took off again, heading to Van Nuys Airport, just north of Los Angeles. Next, the plot thickens as the jet made a notable trip, landing in Antigua to bask in the Caribbean sun. However, things took a mysterious turn on Tuesday when the jet's flight data suddenly vanished, much like a magic trick. FlightAware.com released a statement explaining, this aircraft with tail number 1969, C is no longer available for public tracking at the request of the owner, operator. But the story doesn't end there. Reports emerged that the jet resurfaced on Wednesday morning and has since been stationed at the Miami Opelika Executive Airport. This suggests that Diddy, the man of intrigue, might be laying low in Florida. Adding to the buzz, there were rumors that he made a public appearance on Thursday night at a Miami hotspot, Topgolf, where he wasn't just solo, but was accompanied by his twin daughters, turning the outing into a family event. So there's Diddy, the enigmatic figure, now seen publicly enjoying some leisure time with his daughters at a golf range. Amidst the storm of legal and media scrutiny, he seems to be maintaining a semblance of normalcy, or maybe he's making a statement in his own way, amidst the tumultuous events surrounding him. I'm still here, and it seems like our hip-hop mogul, Diddy, isn't being overwhelmed by the drama. But why is all this surfacing now? Let's dive into the core of the situation. Diddy, at 54, finds himself in the eye of a storm, with a flurry of allegations hitting him in recent months. Going back to February, music producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones threw a serious accusation into the mix by filing a lawsuit in a New York federal court against Diddy. Jones was straightforward, claiming that Diddy not only harassed him, but also forced him into uncomfortable situations with workers. But it doesn't stop there. Jones alleged that these incidents were not isolated, but rather repeated occurrences of unwanted groping and touching. And here's something more shocking. He claimed he had to work in a bathroom while Diddy took showers and walked around naked. That's certainly an eye-opening claim. Adding more intrigue, Jones named a woman associated with rapper 50 Cent as one of the people involved, a claim she has strongly denied and is considering taking legal action against. The controversies surrounding Diddy are truly astonishing, and it doesn't look like the saga will end anytime soon. Brace yourself for even more startling news. Another lawsuit filed in December alleges that Diddy was involved in harming a 17-year-old girl back in 2003. The layers of allegations against Diddy continue to unfold, showing a complex and troubling narrative emerging around the music mogul. The plaintiff, identified only as Jane Doe, made several allegations against Diddy. She claimed that she was drunk with alcohol by Diddy and two of his associates at his New York studio, leading to a dreadful experience. 
The lawsuit even alleges that Diddy was behind a S trafficking operation, claiming that Jane Doe was transported from Michigan to New York on a private jet specifically for this purpose. The reverberations of these accusations have been felt across the industry, and adding to the shock, Tanika Ray, a television host and former backup singer for Diddy, came forward with her distressing narrative. She recounted her interactions with Diddy as horrific, stating she has since avoided him. Her account, as reported by Page Six, suggests she is not surprised by the recent allegations. The situation continues to escalate as more individuals share their experiences. A resurfaced video has added to the controversy, showing a young Justin Bieber, around 16 years old at the time, in a seemingly uncomfortable conversation with Diddy, who questions Bieber about his avoidance. In the midst of these mounting allegations and the media storm they've generated, Diddy has consistently denied all the claims against him. Despite the growing scrutiny and the severe nature of the allegations, it's important to note that Diddy has not been formally charged with any crime. This ongoing saga, filled with accusations and denials, might resonate with those familiar with the unpredictable nature of Kanye West's public life, suggesting a pattern of behavior in the industry that's both complex and troubling. Kanye West has been on a determined quest to call out Diddy and expose what he perceives as the shadowy aspects of the music industry. Through passionate outbursts on social media and straightforward interviews, Kanye has not minced words about his issues with Diddy. He's been vocal, indicating a deep-seated dispute and showing no signs of stepping back. To give some context, let's rewind to 2014. Diddy was at Howard University, donning a cap and gown, delivering a moving speech, and talking about how his father was a significant influence in his life. However, there's a twist to his story. Diddy's father died when he was just three, initially believed to be from a car accident, as told by his mother. But the reality was more dramatic. His father was actually killed in a drug deal that went south. This revelation shook Diddy's perception of his family's narrative. Despite this, he chose to not get bogged down by the past. Instead, he decided to embrace the entrepreneurial spirit of his late father, aiming to do it within the bounds of the law. However, as Diddy's wealth and fame grew, so did the scrutiny and the risks. Allegedly, Diddy once made a misstep, got entangled in a sting operation, and ended up revealing information and naming associates. The twist in the tale is that the same detective who was involved with his father's case reportedly turned on Diddy, informing his New York connections that Diddy's father had been an informant, allegedly because the detective needed to cover for personal obligations. The story takes a darker turn with claims that Diddy's father was eventually murdered by someone within his own circle, supposedly by the same person who later served as a pallbearer at his funeral. This narrative paints a complex and troubled picture of legacy, betrayal, and the harsh realities of fame and family history. In the gritty narrative of street lore, the person who allegedly betrayed Diddy's father met a similar fate, now lying six feet under. This is where the plot thickens even further. Some are drawing parallels between Diddy and his father, speculating that Diddy may have been acting as a federal informant within the hip-hop community for years. The word on the street is that the federal authorities may no longer require his services. Once upon a time, Diddy supposedly had a shield of protection, shielding him from legal repercussions for any purported misdeeds. However, according to what Kanye West has been suggesting, those days of immunity might be coming to an end. If Kanye's allegations hold any truth, and Diddy was indeed in league with federal agents, it appears that they've grown weary of him and are now leaving him to fend for himself. Diddy's vast empire, meticulously built over the years, stands on precarious ground, akin to a storyline ripped from a dramatic television series. The rumor mill is abuzz with the notion that Diddy might have long been in collaboration with federal forces, but the twist in the tale is the apparent vanishing of his once reliable safety net. The mogul who once reigned supreme is potentially facing turbulent times ahead. Kanye has been hinting at this for some time, alluding to Diddy's possible affiliations with federal authorities. With the intense scrutiny now focused on Diddy, amid a whirlwind of allegations, Kanye asserts that the feds are not just backing away from Diddy, they are intensifying their scrutiny of him. 
It's as if the real-life drama of the hip-hop world is unfolding before our eyes. Kanye has been raising red flags for quite some time, hinting at Diddy's supposed connections with federal authorities. With the current upheaval, it appears as though the cryptic clues Kanye has been leaving are starting to form a clearer picture. The intrigue deepens as Kanye is not merely accusing. He's suggesting that the federal agents, who were once allies of Diddy, are now shifting their focus towards him. What's your take on this? Do the federal authorities have substantial evidence against Diddy, warranting such an extensive search operation? And if so, what might that evidence entail? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Until next time, folks, stay tuned and keep it real.